Good evening, this is Josie Cooper with WRTR News. We interrupt your current programming to bring you some breaking news. It has just been reported that possible terrorist attacks are happening across our country. The frightening images that you are currently seeing are live, as many of our cities have erupted in chaos. Police have arrived at all the locations and are encouraging everyone to stay safely inside your home. We will keep you up to date as more news comes in. Please stay tuned for the president's response coming up next. My fellow Americans, today our way of life has been challenged, our freedom replaced by terror. Many lives were lost, taken by evil. Today is a sad day, a day filled with anger, but these attacks were intended to cause sadness and anger, but they will ultimately fail because our country is too strong. We were attacked because they are envious to the beacon of hope that the United States represents. We are prepared and will take action to make sure the people responsible for the attacks will be held accountable. The war on terrorism will come to an end and justice will prevail. Thank you and God bless America. Mr. President, what in the world are you gonna do about this? I think I know what I have to do. You're not talking about him, are you? He's the only option we have left. Oh. My name is the False Prophet. The attacks in your country were caused by me. I plan to rain hellfire on your disgraceful nation. You all will pay for your sins. I want nothing from you, as the United States can no longer be saved. Once it is destroyed, only then can it rise. Pray. He keep calling me. friends for years and uh, I need your help. Oh, where was your help when I got kicked out of the military? Well, my hands were tied. You, you know, your actions led to the death of millions of innocent people. Innocent, guilty, who's there to judge nowadays? Well, look, let's put that behind us. I'm sure you've seen on the news the, the video of this false prophet. I might have seen it. Okay, well, I need your help. I have to check my calendar, I don't know. Look, I, you might not care about me, but this country needs your help. I don't give a damn about this country anymore. I definitely don't give a damn about you. That's how you really feel, but just realize your actions have consequences. Put on some damn pants. Bye, Mr. President. I know I'm gonna regret this. 
maybe I can at least find some information helping him out. Dear God. And Mr. President, um, I changed my mind. I think I will help you out. Yeah, yeah, don't don't thank me. I'm not doing it for you. I was I was doing a little bit of research on the military database and uh this guy, he's no, he's no amateur. Yeah, yeah, I'm the only guy that can help you out. Yeah, I'll take him down. Yeah, just just send me a you know what to send me. Send me my toy. Okay. I'll call you later. Got you now, you sorry son of a bitch. Yes, it's here. Oh, yeah. Thanks, partner.
He must have left. Kind of gone too far. I'll find him. I'll find him. Where's the false prophet? Well, uh, uh, I can't tell you, he'll kill me. If you don't tell me, I'm going to kill you. He went that way. Please, please, please. Oh. Mary gun, stop! Oh, 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 don't, don't shoot, don't shoot. What are you doing here? I'm looking for the false prophet. That's what I'm doing. Here. Oh, I will take you to the false prophet. Don't worry. Oh yeah? Yeah. Come here. I take you now. I know. You just tell me where he's at. This will not end well for you, Mary gun. Okay, maybe we can make out a deal. You're in a big trouble. You're working with a terrorist. Oh, there's no deal to be made here. I have my deal, that's to bring you in. I've already killed a lot of your buddies back there. Oh. I don't have any problem killing you either. <laughs> you talk big. <laughs> big talking American. <laughs> I'll give you a few more seconds to turn back right now. This will not end well for you, American. You can come peacefully. Or you will, you can die. I'm not going anywhere without a fight. Oh, really? Okay. Come on, big man. Oh, you want to do this, don't you? Oh. Oh. There he is! There he is! Oh, we got you now, you merry gun. Uh, 
All right, Team Mary Can you want to talk now? No. Uh, no? <laughs> How about now, Mary Never. No? no? no. no. All right, you listen to me. Huh? Where is he at? Bird in hell. Where is he? Huh? Oh! You mother... Sean. Oh, Sean. Oh, Mr. President. Oh. Where have you been? What, what's going on? It's been tough. I haven't slept in weeks. Gone through a shit ton of these. Man. We still need you out there. What? What's, what's the problem? I can't, I can't anymore. It's, it's all my fault. It's all my fault. But, uh, I heard about what happened to you out there. You were doing some good work. It's... <laughs> It's not uh, your fault. No, it, it is my fault. There's something I I haven't told you. Well, what, what's that? Put the beard down. <laughs> what's what's the problem? You know, I was over there for business, right? Yes. For my military business. I, 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 it's all my fault. It's all my fault. Well, what's your fault? When I was, when I was in the little town that we raided a couple years ago, there was, there was this family, a mother, a father, and a, a teenage boy. They were hiding under the table. I kicked in their door to, you know, search for the hostiles. And I saw them, they were in the corner under the table. They were crying, begging for their lives. You wanna know what I did? What'd you do? I shot the mother and the father right between the eyes. And I left that kid there in, in a puddle of his parents' blood. And then I left. I spared that kid. Do you want to know who that kid is? False prophet? A false prophet. I created a monster. Well. I am the monster. Well, we can't go back and change that now, but you can right your wrongs. We still need you out there. The mission is not over. I, I can't. I, I can't do that, Mr. President. I, I need to, I need to, you need to clean yourself up. Sean. Gosh. as many of you now know, and this is your president, and this is what happens when you defy the false prophet. Hello, this is Josie Cooper from WRTR News. We have some very disturbing video from the false prophet. Viewer discretion is advised.
people in this town die. Not again. As the President of the United States, it's my great honor and privilege to recognize the esteemed colleague, Colonel Sean Aldridge, who gave his life for this fabulous country that we live in today. Without great Americans like Colonel Aldridge, we would not have the country that we have today. It is a sad day for America, and we will miss you, sir.